Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel, iUp Reviewer. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a really cool iPad app called WikiWeb. With this great app, you are able to browse and read any Wikipedia article, and additionally, find any related articles connected to any one article. I hope you enjoy this video! open up WikiWeb. So before I made this video, I was exploring a few of its features and I am going to use YouTube um an article on Wikipedia to dem to demonstrate. So I'll start over. To create a new Wikipedia search you can either, when you open up the app for the first time, tap to search, or tap right there. Then you can type in your search query. So I'm going to put in YouTube again, and then just tap on the search result. And now, if you want to see the article, the original article on Wikipedia, just tap and hold that, um... Um, hexagon and then this will come up I'm gonna tell you first show you a few of the features well actually all the features of the Wikipedia reader so first you've got your title then you've got the whole article and then usually there are links so you can tap and hold a link. You can open the article, which will just do this. I'll go back to YouTube. You can, oops, copy the URL. Open it in the background, which will just basically um, bring it over here. See, you can, and lastly, you can open it in Safari. Now, the pictures, images, you can tap on it to view it and see the all the the description and all the information. There's also a screenshot. Okay. Now these tool this the bottom toolbar can do several things. You can use this, these two buttons to go back and forward through the Wikipedia pages. You can use this to see the table of contents, like the online Wikipedia would usually have. And the last one, the two A's, can change the text size. So, okay. And that's all the, everything about the Wikipedia reader. Now, to the web part of WikiWeb. Okay, so you start with any search term, which we did already did, and I'm using YouTube. So now you just tap it, and that'll create a whole big web of related topics and connected articles. Now, this app, WikiWeb, I find very similar to another app I reviewed, which was Discover People. With both, you tap on them to make them branch out, and then you can tap on them again, and more and more.
And also, another similarity is that you can um, zoom in and zoom out normally just by pinching in and out. And oh, yeah, to view any of these articles, you just like before tap and hold on the hexagon, and the article should come up. And here's a really cool feature. If you double tap on one of the hexagons, look what happens. It disappears. So you can shorten your branch. And then, so then once you get rid of everything, you can search again. So now I'm going to search for Google. No. I'm just going to get a nice big web to explain another feature. Okay. Now. You can share the web on Twitter and email the web. Now. When you email the web, you get this link. So I'm going to show you what it is in Safari. So it just brings up a virtual interactive web of the same exact thing so you can zoom in and zoom out I'm not sure what you what page you got if you're not on mobile if you're on a PC or Mac but I'm sure it's easy to zoom in and see all of the um, articles that you found connected to and also on mobile, you can double tap to zoom in. Okay. Now, back to the app. That's actually pretty much all of the app. And the app's really good for doing research because it can lead you to more topics with more information that's related that are related to the original one. But that's all. So thanks for watching this review on WikiWeb. You can get it on the App Store for only five dollars. So be sure to check out my channel to see my other reviews. I hope you'll watch some of them. So enjoy and I'll see you next time.